Are you a detailing porn star? I hope not. And let me describe what a detailing porn star is. Welcome to the Detailers Business Academy. I'm Ivan LaCroix, and I'm here to take you on a journey from detailer to entrepreneur. Now, what constitutes a detailing porn star? Well, the detailing industry is an interesting industry, to say the least. And part of that interesting aspect of it is we seem to valorize people that take way too much time to do a simple job. Let me give you an example. If you were to post on one of the Facebook groups, the many detailing Facebook groups, that you took 20 hours to polish a car, you'd probably get lots of applause saying, great, wow, you must have done a spectacular job. Hope your customer was happy. Now post in those same detailing groups that, hey, I just polished a car, my customer was extremely satisfied, and only took me two hours. You're going to get lambasted. People are going to get all over you, get really uppity, and tell you you're a hack, you did a terrible job, there's no way your customer could have been satisfied, etc, etc, etc. So the reason I come to the conclusion that there's detailing porn stars out there is, it seems the longer you screw around, the better you must be. And in business, it's the complete opposite. The more efficient you are, the better you are. And the more efficient you are, the more profitable you are. And the more efficient you are, probably the higher quality you're putting out. Let me explain that. Quality is a byproduct of efficiency. In the detailing industry, it seems that the less efficient you are, probably the better you are. And that is a very common misconception. Now, a lot of people think, well, you polished a car for two hours. It can't possibly be good. It takes me two hours just to wash the car. Well, if it's taking you two hours just to wash the car and prep it for polishing, then we have another subject to talk about. But Yes, you can take that long, and it doesn't damage anything other than your profitability. And also, your customers for that matter. If you've taken four days to polish their car and coat it and do everything you want to it, that's great. They've lost their car for four days, and you probably haven't charged enough. Now, again, getting back to the porn analogy, it's something you do when you're younger. It's something you do when your body is physically capable of doing it and you look the part. Now, when we get older, we don't want to be polishing a car for 20 hours. We don't think it's cool anymore. No, it isn't. What we do think is cool is having a very satisfied customer that, at the same time, you gave them exactly what they paid for. You might not see it as screwing around. You see it as doing the best job you possibly can. And one of the aspects is the polishing aspect of it. And let's take a look at that. Now, many times you'll see someone online posting it, they've spent hours, days, polishing your car. And they call it a one-step. Hmm. Well, that one step to them is they used one product and one pad. Now, they used a short-stroke DA polisher, a very fine pad, and a very fine polish, and went over that panel many, 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 many times to get a result that they could have got a lot faster by breaking out the compound, the wool pad, going over one shot with the compound on the wool pad and then finishing it off with their short stroke polisher and they would have probably a better result in about maybe a tenth of the time but detailing stems from passion detailing is a very passionate industry and for a reason we take stuff that doesn't look good we make it look spectacular that passion doesn't always lead to profits now, if you are as passionate about entrepreneurship as you are about polishing paint, then we're on to something. But that passion is a little difficult to grow. It's a little difficult to foster because it's not as fun. You know, seeing the results of polishing after many, many hours, turning that 1995 Hyundai accent into a mirror, spectacular. It's a great turnaround. It's a nice feeling. But not being able to pay the rent isn't a nice feeling. Not being able to retire when you're 50, not a good feeling. Having to work when you're still 70 years old because, hey, I spent 20 hours polishing a car when I was 20, isn't exactly the best way of doing things. Now, nothing wrong with it, but what do you want to do with your life? Where do you want to go? What are you wanting to do? What are your goals? Once you know what those goals are, once you know what your plan is, 
then entrepreneurship suddenly becomes a lot more attractive. Being an entrepreneur means satisfying your customer, doing a spectacular job, but not going over and above. Maybe just a little bit, but you know. Uh, but you don't want to be going so far over and above that you're taking away your own profitability. You're cutting the grass out from under your own feet. So next time you're polishing a car, think, can I do this better? Can I do this more efficiently? Am I a porn star right now? If you're a porn star, well, put on the appropriate music in the background and have fun with it. But think, hey, there might be another way of doing this. Thanks for watching. My name is Ivan LaCroix. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, leave them below and I'll be happy to answer. Don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so the next time I put out something like this, you'll be able to follow along and have fun too. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.